A very warm welcome to your favorite program, Learn Tree with Opoku. In this episode, we are going to learn some vocabularies that are associated with what? Measurement in tree. But before then, check this out. Are you a Ghanaian born outside the country or not a Ghanaian? But you want to speak tree at the native speaker's level? Then you are at the right channel. Join me. Let's learn to Come along. Welcome back. Sometimes when you go to the market to buy some items, you may decide to buy all of it, sometimes half of it, a quarter of it, a certain percentage, and so on and so forth. And so, we're going to learn the key vocabularies for all these measurements that I'm talking about. First of all, let's begin with all of it. If you go to the market and you want to buy some items and you say, I want all of it, how are you going to say that in P? In P, you will say, me toni nina, me toni nina. Me Re to ni ni na. This is how we write it, but as I have told you already, we say me to. So the R is somehow eliminated when we are speaking. See? And so we say me to ni ni na. I am buying all. I am buying all. Me to ni ni na. Good. With that one aside, just look at this. This is a whole piece. A whole piece, isn't it? How do we say a whole piece in chi? In chi we say mua. Mua. That is a whole. Mua. So this is mua, a whole piece. Mua. If it is a whole, we say this. We say eye mua, eye mua, meaning it is what? A whole piece, eye mua, eye mua. If it is not, then we say this. Enyemua. Enyemua meaning it is not what? A whole piece. Enyemua. It is a whole. Enyemua. It is not a whole or it's not a whole. So this is the difference between them. Good. Now look at this. Look at this bottle. And this what is the difference definitely I know you're going to say this one is full but this one is not full so how do we say full in tree in tree full we say this Emma Emma that means it is what full Emma. Let me underline the keywords. Ni ni na meaning all of it. Mua and that is what a whole piece. And when it is a whole piece, we say aye mua. If it is not, then we say enye mua. Now the next vocabulary is what emma. And what does that mean? That means it is full or full. If it is full, you want to say it is full. How are you going to write it in tree? Check this. Check this. You know, a map. Hmm? And then, you know, a yeah. So how are you going to say it? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Ayema. Good. 
And if you want to say it is not full, it is not full, like this one. It's not full. How are you going to say it? Remember this. And yet, and yet, so this is how we're going to say it. And yamma, and yamma. So, a yamma, it is full. And yamma, it is not full. You see this air here. The air here stands for eno, which means what? It. And then ye here stand for is. So in this case, we are saying eno ye ma. Eno ye ma meaning it is full and no ye ma meaning it is full but we told you in our previous lessons that when eno that is it combines with the verb then eno loses the no and we get only the air which stands for it, and then it is written together with a verb, which is what? Yeah. So a no ye becomes a ye. A ye. A ye. So here we say a ye ma. It is full. I hope you get this one. Thank you. Now look at this. Is it a whole piece? Whoa. That tells you it is what? Half. Half. Not a whole piece. In three, how do we say half? We say a fan. A fan. A fan. And this is how we write it. A fan meaning half. Good. So. If you want to say it is half, how are you going to say it? Mm -hmm. Some clue here. There's a clue here. Yeah. So how are you going to say it? A ye fa. A ye fa. A ye fa. Remember, look at this. A ma. A ma, which stands for what? Full. Full. But when we say a ye ma, meaning it is full. A ye ma, the air, this air did not come. The same thing applies here. A fa, which means half. So if you want to say half without adding anything, then we say a fa. A but if you are using it in a sentence, then we say a fa. A fa. It doesn't begin. If it should begin the sentence, then you say a fa. A fa. For example, if I want to say it is half that I ask, then I'll say a fa na mi busai. A fa na mi busai. So in this case, it will start with what a, but Using it in the middle of the sentence or at the end of the sentence, then we, we just eliminate the air and then we write fa. Good. So here we say a ye fa. A ye fa. But what about this? If I show you this and say it is half, and you look at it, ah, half would have been here. Then, but this thing is around here. Then you want to say it is not half. It is not half. How are you going to say it? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Look at this. It is not full. How did we write that? The same thing applies here. So here you are going to say Enye fa. Enye fa. 
it is not half it is not half good so the key word here the key word is this a fan a fan a fan good look at this this is quarter definitely isn't it yes this is quarter so how do you say quarter in tree if you want to say a fraction in tree then we talk of the divisions of it so we mention the divisions of it before we talk about what has been taken out of those divisions for example quarter in tree this is how we will say it Nchemu nine mu bako. Nchemu means what? Divisions. So we say nchemu nan. Nan is what? Four. Bako is one. So it is one out of four divisions. This is what it means one out of four divisions so we say nchemu naimu bako because this one before arriving at this i had to divide the whole piece into four so nchemu nain i divided it into four but how many did i take one that is bako so we say nchemu naimu bako nchemu naimu bako if it should be say one fifth i will also say nchemu num this is five five in three is what num so nchemu num mu bako so you always talk of the divisions and then you talk of what has been taken out of those divisions. Good. Talking of fractions. Well, we know this. Nchemu naimu bako, that is one fourth. We can convert this into a percentage, isn't it? And when we do that, definitely we're going to get what? 25%. That is one fourth by 100. 4 divides itself into what? 1 and it goes into 125. So at the end, we get what? 25%. So 25%, this brings into question another vocabulary, and that is how do we say percentage in tree? This is what we do. You see, percentage talks about what? Divisions of 100. So, 25 out of what? 100. This is what this means. 25 out of 100. So, in P, that is how we also say it. Something out of 100. Or divisions of 100, what is taken out of it. That is how we say percentage in P. So, how do we say it? We say, we say it in P as this. Ohamu nchemu. Ohamu nchemu. Oha is what? Hundred. Oha. Hundred. Nchemu, that is divisions. Divisions, as you learned here. Divisions. So, ohamu nchemu. And then, I'm, I wrote here, dot, dot, dot. If it is 25%, then you say, Ohamu nchemu adionunum, 25. Then you write 25. Adionunum, that is 25%. If it is 30%, how are you going to say it? Ohamu 
nchemu edu asa. 30%. So in all, this is what we are saying. As far as measurement is concerned, in P, we have nini na meaning all of it. Mua, which is what? A whole piece. Like this, this is mua. Eye mua, eye mua, a whole piece. Enye mua, enye mua, enye mua, it's not a whole piece. And then we come to this point, uh, this point that is what? Emma, 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 Emma. That is full, full. A yema, meaning it is full. It is full. This one, a yema, a yema, meaning it is not full. It is not full. A yema. Then the next, the next vocabulary that is efa, a yefa, it is half. Enyefa, it is not half. Enyefa, it is not half. And this one, it is what? Kota. Kota. And that is Inchemu Naimu Bako. Inchemu Naimu Bako. One out of four divisions. And this same quarter. We can write it as a percentage, and that is 25 percent. Same percentage in three, we say, Ohamu Nchemu. If it's 30 percent, you say, Ohamu Nchemu Ediasa. 10 percent, Ohamu Nchemu Edu. 10 percent. So, that is all time will permit us to learn. If you enjoy the lesson and you want to be notified anytime I make new videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.